This simple box contains a human life. The white fluid inside is one of the world's most advanced forms of cancer treatment, CAR T. CAR T cells are immune cells that we get, get from the patient's blood and we actually insert a gene into those cells which make them uh, which give them the ability to recognize tumor cells and which also makes them much more aggressive car t therapy is an israeli invention which only went into clinical trials in the past couple of years worldwide trials have given an 83 percent full remission rate even among terminal cases they're extremely advanced stage when they get car t cells currently the product is only approved after at least two failures of two previous therapies of metastatic disease. That life-saving treatment comes at a very high cost. CAR-T therapy begins at about $370,000 and quickly rises to about a million dollars, and that's the cost per patient. Those costs have put CAR-T outside the reach of most patients. Most insurance companies balk at the cost, and government health systems have been unable to bear the load. But this year, it was added to Israel's public coverage. One thing for sure, it still continues to be very expensive. So I do expect governments to pay more and give more money for health care system. And Israel is paying more than ever. The 2019 budget allocated $125 million to cover pharmaceutical drugs. $70 million was for cancer. This has forced Israel to work on new ways to keep costs down. So we tell the drug company, to help us, include it cut down the prices so we can add more. And it's many, many ways it's successful. The second methodology we use is to do risk sharing with the company. For example, deciding that we are going to pay just for successful treatment. There are limitations, of course. Only two specific kinds of cancer are covered for now, and only leukemia patients aged 3 to 25. Health professionals say the country can treat a maximum of 100 patients a year this way. But it's an important health milestone for Israel, and perhaps a model for pioneering such expensive treatments worldwide. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News.